Okay, everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Jay Coding, and what I'll basically be doing on this channel is just Java. Uh, I'll be teaching you guys, as well as myself, how to code Java. Um, this year, I'm a junior in high school, and I'm taking the AP Computer Science A course. So, basically, anything that I learn in that class, any homework that I get, I'll just be trying to make a video on this channel. Um, I'll be trying to upload a video at least once a week, m most likely no more than three. I won't be moving to any other languages besides Java, so I won't be moving to HTML, C++, JavaScript, none of those. I'm just going to be doing Java this year because then again I want to use this for myself to help me study and use this for you guys to improve your uh, coding abilities. So for people who don't know Java, I'll pretty much be starting in a relatively advanced position if you have no idea what Java is. Um, but somewhere uh, down somewhere down the road, I will eventually get to some more basic codes just so the people who don't understand what I'm doing on this channel can. And then they can just go back to my other videos and then those videos will just make more sense. Okay, so... First, we we will be starting with first we will be starting with a recursion. Um, a recursion is different from a loop in that a loop it just keeps on going around and around and around until it has to stop. A recursion keeps on going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it has to stop. So, uh, in this class, which I called recurse.java. There's a bunch of things going on um, in my main in my main section, my main method, and in another section where the actual recursion part takes place. So let's start with this area up here. Now, what I did first thing I had to do was obviously create an integer. Uh, I named this integer rec, and I set it equal to five. So my goal for this class is to be able to add all the integers from 5 to 1. So the output I want to end up getting is 15. So I set int rec is equal to 5 so we have to start somewhere so I chose the number 5. Uh, next thing I did is as you can see I printed out what I want to see at the end and what total is it's a method um, and in that method, it will do pretty much anything I tell it to do. So what I told it to do is I told it to work with rec. And as you know, rec is equal to 5. So now we're working with the number 5. So now what do I want to do with the number 5? Right? So what I'm doing here is I'm making... Uh, is, I'm, is I'm using a public static int. And now what a public static int does it's that um, if it's public you can literally just use it from any class so let's say I'm on pyramid.java or my other file rec.java I can access int n because this is public but if I change it to private I'll only be able to access it within this class within this uh, code so now I'm going to skip right down to the bottom and I'll get back to some of these in a bit. But what I want to end up returning is the actual recursion. Now, over here we have where it says n plus total n minus 1. Right? So n for us is going to start out as 5. So the first thing it does, it does 5 plus um, the method total n minus 1. So if n is 5 and we're going to add n minus 1, it'll be 5 plus 4. But it doesn't stop there until it gets to 0. So, and, sorry, until it gets to 1 and then it'll stop. So it does 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Now for this section right here. 
this is in special cases. If I decide to say, let me set rec is equal to 1. If I set rec is equal to 1, well then, if rec is equal to 1, that means n is equal to equal to 1. And I said right here, if n is ever equal to equal to 1, I will return 1. But let's say I set rec is equal to 0. Now I made another special case for that right here where I say if n is equal to equal to 0 I will return 0 so let's go back to 5 let's run this now the answer I want to get is 15 now this is our this right here is just a preloaded answer let me run this again 15 now just in case you guys want to know how this works if you guys didn't get it that time it just added 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 which is 15 so if I set this to 4, it should be 10. Let's see. 10. Now, let's go to our special cases. If I set rec equal to 5, I mean, sorry. If I set rec equal to 0, I should get 0. Like I said right here, I want it to return the number 0. Let's see. 0. Same thing with 1. I want it to return the number one. Perfect. Now this could literally work with anything, let's say 16. What it just did, added 16 plus 15 plus 14, on and on and on. Um, now I added these comments right here for you guys as well as myself. So if you guys just want to take a chance and um, see what these comments are, take a good look at them, pause the video if you need to. Um, but yeah, these comments pretty much sum up what I've what I've told you this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's been a pretty interesting ride making my first video, so hopefully it goes well. All right, peace.